Hello everyone, my name is Mia from Devilish Equestrian and I thought I would start filming my training and weight loss journey with my Brumby. So a year ago I picked up my Brumby Missy uh, with the intent of retraining and rehoming her. Uh, she was like my pretty little project pony. Um, I had little info on her um, but I saw her picture and I just knew I had to have her. So I went up and picked her up, loaded her on the float um, and as I did that, I was told there's a possibility she was pregnant. Um, I did have a vet scan done. Uh, no baby, just a very big belly. Uh, so when I got her home, I actually found out more about her past. Um, so after she was caught from the mountains, her first experience in domestication with people was abuse and neglect. Uh, and then after that, she went through the sales. I'm not sure which one. Uh, but she was rescued by some lovely lady, uh, and then the lady moved her on, uh, and that's when I picked her up. So Missy had some sort of negative experience around her head and her ears. So she has a big scar under her forelock from an injury to the head. Um, that actually made me unable to go near her head and her ears without her like completely freaking out. She was terrified, she was uh, constantly anxious. And I actually didn't think we would get any further than a companion pet or possibly lead line pony. Uh, I couldn't even pat her without her flinching. I couldn't speak too loud. I couldn't make any quick sudden movements without absolutely terrifying her and having her literally trembling. So it was then and there that I fell in love with her and I couldn't let her earn the trust of me only to then move her on again once training was complete. I thought that was just very unkind, you know. She trusts me and then I'm moving her on again to a new place, new people, and where well, she would possibly go backwards, essentially. Uh, so, yeah, this is my little Brumby Missy. She's 12 hands high, uh, approximately 7 years old. Uh, and as you can see, she is very chunky. She has gained the pounds since she's been chilling out in the paddock, learning to be a horse, learning love learning to trust people again so she's gotten pretty tubby I call her uh, I call her tubs <laughs> and uh, someone once gave her the nickname keg on legs which I found was pretty funny and I stick to that now <laughs> I call her the keg on legs so yeah I'm just doing up her girth here making sure it's nice and tight but I uh, like to tighten it very slowly and evenly on each side uh, and then I take her up to the arena. Uh, I just let her walk around uh, and munch on some grass while I set up just a few trot poles. And then you see me going to chase her, <laughs> going after to grab her and get to work. Tubs. Oh, shouldn't be eating that. Come on, Tubby. Good. Good girl. So as you can see, she's pretty stubborn and reluctant to get to work. Walk on. I ask her to walk on, and she thinks about it, and then she moves off. So, um, but I got movement. I got forward movement, and that's really all that matters to me. Uh, it has been a while since she's been in work and I do like to give them that chance to respond uh, and think about what their response is before I actually, you know, essentially kind of crack into them and tell them, you know, move it. <laughs> so I'm actually just letting her walk around here and check out those trot bowls. I wanted to have a good look at them uh, and then I do ask her to move up into a trot. Um, but she slows down to a walk and walks over them. Uh, she's Correct. just trying to work out her spacing of the trot poles, which that's fine. I let her do that because I should have done that in the first place. Correct. I should have let her walk over it. You're going to step over and fire, so that's fine. So now that Correct. she's got her spacing, the next time I will ask her to trot over it. Um, she does try to change directions here on me and I just kind of pull her back and shove that shoulder back out, Good which she girl. listens to. And then I move her up into a trot and get her over those poles.
Okay, I'll turn her up. Good girl. Ah, ah, ah. She tries to turn into me again, and I point my lunge line at that shoulder and tell her to get back out, and she listens. Beautiful. So she steps over them nicely. Uh, I think it's here or maybe the next time she goes around where I realise that this, my, my spacing's a little bit off and I have to fix one of the poles. <laughs> I think it might be this one. I have to move one of the poles out because it's just a little bit too close for her. She's short stepping and knocking it. Easy. Yep, so I ask her to come to a stop and that's when I go and fix the pole. <laughs> Of course, I give her a pat for stopping, listening, and coming into me. Sorry, Bubba. You want to hop off? Walk on. You're on my lead. I mean, line, lunge. Good girl. Now, this one's just a little bit too. There we go. See how that works. See how that goes. Walk on. Good girl. There we go. Two right. So right about here, after this set of poles, she does stop and try to turn into me. Uh, I immediately try to point my lunge line at her shoulder and get her to move out, but she <laughs> continues to turn. So I hey. give her a hey. quick little tug on the way I want her to go, the direction Good. I want her to go, and I follow through with that line again on the shoulder, and she does listen and moves off nicely. But she keeps thinking about it. So I just have to stay on top of her, pointing that lunge line right at her shoulder, asking her to move out and move away from the pressure, which she knows how to do, but she does get a little bit stubborn sometimes. She says, I've had enough. I want to come in now. Can I come in? And I tell her, no, you cannot. Keep going. So it's Easy. a bit of stubbornness, laziness, um, and it can be a little bit of attitude. Walk on. Walk on. Good. Good girl. To right. To right. Oh, come on. To right. Good girl. So as you've probably seen, I talk to my horses a lot. Um, they like it. I like it. <laughs> I like to express my, my affection to my horses. Uh, but also talking to them helps keep them focused on you. It gives them something to listen to. They hear you talking. They keep their ear on you. And they're like, oh, this way. Good girl. Um, not only that, but all of mine are voice cue trained. So walk, trot, canter, and easy, which is stop. Uh, so while I'm speaking to them, every time I speak, they're listening for their voice command. They're listening for their cue to stop or 
move up a gate. Good girl. Uh, it's also right. easier for me to just continue talking to them to keep their focus rather than nagging on the line every time they lose focus and tip their head out uh, to look at something else or get distracted. Rather than nagging on the line, I can just I'm talking to them and they're just focused on me all the time, which is really great. <laughs> Canter, 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 get her up. So right here she's like, yeah, I've had enough, uh, uh, stops and tries to change direction. Uh, I tried to hey, chase after her hey, and get in front of hey. her to push her back over, right. but I can't. Hey. <laughs> so oh I goodness. grab her line and I tug her in the direction I wanted to go. I point the way I wanted to go right. and I get that right. line right. right next to her shoulder to push her out. And then we're back on our circle, going the right way. So coming up here is a bit where she shows a bit of stubbornness and she's like, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I'm done. Um, so again, I try point which way I want her to go. I put that line on her shoulder and she's not listening. She jumps away from it. Other way. She's being a bit silly here. She knows what I'm asking, but she's not listening. She finally gets there. Um, a nice circle, but she does it again, I believe. Canter, canter, to right. Canter. Right about here, she does it again and canter. stops. Uh, my fault, to I should right. have stopped her after I got what I wanted, which was a nice to canter. Right. To so I try to run in Easy. and slap the lead rope on the ground to get her to move away from it, which she does not. She continues to run You're into You're being it. cheeky today. And I know that she's being cheeky today. Canter. And to rot. So she does it once more. To rot. And this time to she's rot. really not listening. She's really oh, running away from me. She's, she's running bitch. literally right into my lead. Away. Move away. There we go. Uh, and then I think she tries it once more. Nope, that was you my fault. I accidentally that. ran her into it. She could have gone around it, but I'm just blaming myself for that one. Yeah, so right here, she's not listening. <laughs> she's walking off, walking into my line. Walk on. There we go. Away. There we go. Oh, you know to move away from it. There, there we, we go. go. So yeah, she's getting really cheeky now. She's had enough being on the line. So I think I get a nice circle out of her and then I switch directions, I believe. And canter. Yep, so right there I got what I wanted. Nice circle and a nice canter without stopping. Um, and I called it off. So of course she gets praise for coming in and yeah. being a good girl, doing what I asked. And Giving then we go rest. to move on to the other side. I'm just having a bit of a chat to my friend here. Um, because earlier on, early training days, uh, I let her go on the lead that she preferred. Her, whichever way was easier for her for learning, it made learning easier. Uh, and she does not go the other way now. She gets stubborn Real. and refuses Stop to go that. this way. So completely my fault, human error. My training area should have had her going both ways from the start. So this gets very difficult as I start off pretty small and <laughs> my lunge rip is way too long. So I just, what I do is the exact same as the other side. I point in the direction I wanted to go. I point her head that way as well. And with my lead line, uh, sorry, my lunge whip, I put pressure on her shoulder and wait for her to step out. As soon as she steps out, all pressure is gone. 
Um, so she kind of remembers what to do here, and she was like, ah, oh, I've got the gist of things, but she, a couple of times she does stop oh, and try come in. So I just have to keep on top of that. <laughs> I see you. Uh, I did accidentally pop her with it a couple of times. Can't I did right. not mean to get her. Right. I never hit any of my horses with the lunge line or whips. Uh, right. The only time I have right. ever yeah. hit a horse, uh, my horses, uh, with a whip or something is when they have deliberately tried to kick at me on the lunge line. Um, I won't tolerate that and they will get a pop on the butt for that. To clarify, I don't mean just kicking in general or bucking in general. Uh, so I allow them to buck on the lunge, I allow them to kick out a uh, pig root, whatever. Uh, that's fine, you know, they have to communicate to us somehow. It's not always in nastiness. You know, sometimes they do speak to us and say, hey, I don't exactly like this, or hey, I'm confused. They might throw a kick or a buck, whatever, rear, whatever. Um, I only connect the whip with them if the kick is aimed directly at me or the buck is aimed towards me. And by that, I mean they turn their shoulder out, they turn their, their hindquarters towards me, and they're aiming directly at me. You know, if they're running around on the lunge, bucking just on the lunge, uh, that's no problem, Out. you know, go for Get it, go for your life, you'll just have to run some more. <laughs> um, but yeah, if the buck or kick is aimed directly at me, they will definitely get a pop on the butt like that, just like any other leader in the herd would be if they wanted to, you know, mess around. Uh, so yeah, other than that, the whip is only used as an extension of my arm. Uh, and you'll notice yeah. in future videos that none of my horses are scared of the lunge whip at all, you know. I can Every do whatever I want with my lunge whip. I can go. swing it around their heads. I can swing it behind them. I can swing it side to side. They're not scared of it. They don't feel it. Today, it's only an extension of my arm. I know uh, as you can see, I am having a bit of trouble with her here. It's hard. I have to keep that shoulder out and I actually have to drive her forward from behind as well. <laughs> uh, and we have no gate on our arena at the moment, which makes it a lot harder. She'll swing her butt out and kind of stand there. But I just have to keep on top of her. Uh, and as soon as she continues to move around at my pace right. without stopping at the gate, I stop her and I let her come in Good and I easy. end the session right there. Good because girl, any victory, any I'm small victory, you. is a victory to me. That's good enough. And, you know, you've got to let them soak up the information a bit, you know. Once they do something you want, you don't want to push them too much because then they start to associate, oh, hey, I just did something good. I did what you wanted me to do. Uh, but why are you making me do more? Now you're you're pushing me to do more work. I don't think I want to listen anymore because it only just it only just results in more work. <laughs> so yeah, after she does something good for me, I end it. Small short sessions, uh, good enough. A win is a win. <laughs> uh, so like I said at the start of the video, Missy used to have some troubles with her ears and her head being touched. Uh, she can still be a little bit funny, so that's the only reason why she was moving away from my lunge whip when I was touching her ears. So after this I just threw her back down to the paddock and gave her a bit of hay and that was it for the day. Uh, while filming this I have figured out that I do not enjoy making voiceovers whatsoever. <laughs> so next time I think I will explain what I'm doing on the camera while I'm filming. Uh, the only reason I didn't place my camera somewhere and film is because I walk around the entirety of the arena sometimes so it does get a bit difficult to pick up my camera every five minutes or so and have to move it. Yeah, Other than that, that's all for today's video. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you all tune into the next one. Lucky.